Welcome back to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. As Star Wars fans continue to anxiously await news and information pertaining to Lucasfilm and Disney's mysterious Project Luminous, we were provided yet another clue as to where in the Star Wars timeline Lucasfilm plans to delve into canonically with their next phase of books, comics, and on-screen projects. Rumors have been circulating for some time now that Lucasfilm is planning to move several centuries into the past in the Star Wars timeline, delving into what's being referred to as the High Republic era. Doing so would set the next phase of Star Wars stories several hundred years in the past prior to the events of the Skywalker Saga. Last week, the second issue in the main Star Wars comic series, which is written by Charles Soule, was released, and some interesting bits of information were dropped in the issue. The issue sees Princess Leia and the Rebel Alliance's 4th Division attempting to regroup following a pretty decisive defeat at the hands of the Empire in the previous issue. Additionally, the 4th Division has learned that the Empire has broken the Rebel Alliance's transmission codes, which means the Empire would be able to pinpoint the exact locations of any Rebel cells communicating with one another, leaving the Rebel Alliance extremely vulnerable. Following the Battle of Hoth, the various rebel cells fled to various rendezvous points across the galaxy in hopes that it would minimize the Empire's abilities to capture or destroy a large amount of the rebels' forces and or their fleet even if rebel operatives were captured. This way, if a rebel from one cell was captured, they only knew where their cell was supposed to rendezvous at. They then could not divulge the location of other cells since they wouldn't know where other cells would be rendezvousing to. With the rebel fleet now strewn across the galaxy at various rendezvous points and unable to communicate with one another due to the Empire's ability to break their transmission codes, Leia and the commanders of the 4th Division are working on a plan to contact other rebel cells and have the rebel fleet regroup group and reorganize their strategy for moving forward. We were then introduced to Commander Grek, who goes on to explain the Rebels' plan, which involves using a huge space station in the Outer Rim, which was built during the days of the Old Republic and was used as a beacon for travelers to navigate the Outer Rim. Since the Outer Rim was not as settled at that time as it is in the current timeline that the comic takes place in. I don't think it's a coincidence that Charles Soule, who has been announced as one of the five authors to create stories for Project Luminous, is again dropping references to the High Republic in a story of his. Last month in issue 2 of Soul's other Star Wars comic series, The Rise of Kylo Ren, we saw Lore Santeca dropping some information about the High Republic era as well. Additionally, the High Republic was also mentioned in the audiobook Dooku Jedi Lost, which was written by Kevin Scott, who is you guessed it, also going to be writing stories for Project Luminous. Couple this with the fact that rumors have been circulating for some time now that the project would take place several hundred years prior to the events of the Skywalker Saga, with reports even mentioning the High Republic era by name, and I think at this point it's almost a foregone conclusion that Project Luminous will be working as a springboard for fans to familiarize themselves with the High Republic era. I love the idea of Lucasfilm creating stories that take place hundreds of years prior to the events of the Skywalker Saga, and I'm very intrigued to see where the canon and stories will go from there. I'm still unsure if or how the Sith will have a presence in the High Republic era, as the Sith were lurking in the shadows at this time, unbeknownst to the galaxy at large and the Jedi Order. But I guess that's something we'll have to wait and find out. ABC's Clayton Sandell took to Twitter last week and announced that some kind of Project Luminous information would be provided to folks on February 24th. So we're getting closer and closer to learning more about Project Luminous and what Lucasfilm and Disney has in store with the next phase of Star Wars, which I recently talked about in a previous video, so make sure to check that out. I honestly can't wait to find out more about Project Luminous and where Lucasfilm film plans to take Star Wars and the next phase of Star Wars from here. I'm really, really excited, guys. But what do you guys think? Do you think Project Luminous will explore the High Republic era? Do you think the next Star Wars films will take place in the High Republic era or maybe in a completely different time frame? Let us know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Follow Dan's on Fandoms on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr, all at Dan's on Fandoms. And as always, thanks for watching and stay nerdy.